Hi, Eric Linask here at uh, IT Expo West 2011 in Austin, Texas. We're here on day three of the show, and uh, I'm very happy this morning to be talking with Mike Coffey from Cometrics. Good morning, Mike. Good morning, Eric. Always good to be at IT Expo. Well, we love having you here. Um, reflections from the first couple of days? Yes. Good. Good. Very good. It's been going well. That's uh, great to hear. Um, so, what has Cometrics been doing at the show? Well, we've announced our latest, newest product, Smart ATA, at the show. Uh, we're showing it in the booth, and um, it is a full function voice fax ATA that um, includes uh, extensive features in voice, obviously, fax, uh, management, security, call control, but it goes well beyond that, and we believe establishes a new level of uh, function performance and actually pushes out the state of the art uh, in gateway and ATA technology in the area of facts. We do that by solving three problems that service providers have been, I think I can say begging us uh, to solve in the last few years. Uh, they include the late T38 reinvite problem, which we've been talking about for quite some time, uh, the G711 clock sync problem, and we've added V.34 to an ATA. Smart ATA is going to be the first product, is the first product on the market that has uh, V.34 support. So I don't think it's, uh, it comes as a surprise to anybody that, that there are uh, some challenges with uh, facts in the carrier networks, but uh, can, can you elaborate a little more on that? Of course. Uh, we have uh, fax server OEMs that specialize in broadcast facts, and we've done a lot of testing with them. And uh, that testing revealed that there are some common problems, the solution of which can increase fax success rates by 5 to 10 percent, depending on the carrier. That is extremely significant, and unless those problems get solved, carriers will continue to tell their business subscribers, keep your POTS line for fax. We have to put a stop to that, and we think that this product will do so. Late T38 reinvites will cause uh, the fax session to actually be killed if the reinvite is accepted when it should be rejected. That's why we call it smart FOIP and smart ATA. The second problem <clears throat> that we solve is that, well, if you reject a T38 reinvite, you're going to have more G711 pass through faxes. And people say, well, it isn't that problematic? We have customers that tell us, I can send a one-page fax, but two, three, four, five-page faxes seem to always fail, or fail more frequently. Mm -hmm. The reason for that is a lot, a lot of people think it's because of lost, out-of-order packets. Well, the carriers have done a great job of improving their networks to the point where there's rarely a lost packet. But they can't do anything about the clocks being at unequal. Uh, there's a clock in the endpoint fax terminal and clocks in the gateway. And if they're not equal, you're going to have jitter buffers that underrun or overrun. That's the death of a fax session. We solve that by making every multi-page fax look like a one-page fax as far as that is concerned. And V.34 is a bear to add to Gateway. We've done it. We thought that it was uh, worthwhile to put it into our smart FOIP product, and so we've done it. Those are the three things that we've done that we feel really pushes out the state of the art. Well, the whole, the whole idea of uh, not having any more failed fax sessions is, is certainly something anybody would look forward to. But um, tell me about the branding on, on the uh, Smart ATA. It, uh, if, if I recall, it doesn't, uh, it's not under the Cometrics brand. It's on something called NetGen Communications. Yeah. Uh, if you have seen our product bulletin, it has the NetGen logo on it. NetGen is a... Um, sister company, a company we founded years ago to be our uh, intellectual property holding company, but it has uh, turned into um, a company that addresses the end user, whether or not it's a, an end subscriber, the residents, or uh, a service provider. Uh, Cometrics focus remains uh, as a, on the OEM, the value, value adding mm -hmm. OEM. So we thought it was good to keep the separation complete uh, the product was developed in, uh, uh, as a partnership with New Rock Technology, a long-term uh, Shanghai, China uh, partner of Cometrics. Uh, but NetGen Communications uh, is uh, going to be responsible for producing, marketing, and supporting the product. 
So we point people that come to our website to the NetGen website. Excellent. Understood. What about availability? Is uh, the Smart ATA available now? Running today, uh, shippable in low quantities in late October, uh, higher quantities November, full production in first quarter of 2012. So we're looking for uh, people, well everyone we talked to uh, was, I think I can say everyone, uh, was extremely pleased with this development and uh, looking forward to trials uh, later on in Q4. Excellent. Uh, Mike, thank you so much for joining me. I'm glad you're having a great show. Thank you, Eric. It's always a pleasure.